Yeah, my pine's usually all the way up in here. But it's good to drive. The stream is the stream that comes in the back here. And that's, that's been dry for a while. Yeah, this is, a, this is the greatest thing Ruckus and Riot ever saw. <laughs> Where's the, oh, there we go, there's the canoe. Whoever, um, the pine started leaking right over here, and they didn't have the uh, drain in there, or they capped it off, and then I had to, I, I was telling Larry about it, and he got on the internet, and oh, agriculture pond, they have that, they have a, that controls your level of your pond. And you have an overflow, and all I had was an overflow before. So we had to go in and dam that up. Um, Where are you going, Riot? Riot! PVC down in there. <laughs> Where'd he go? I wonder if Mom come out. I don't know. <laughs> Ruckus, where are you going? Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Where'd Riot go? Show me that sideways move you got there, bud. <laughs> there you oh, go. Here she comes. Here she comes. This is the girl here. Yeah. She's got the, the pink collar and he's got the blue collar. <laughs> yeah. yeah, see a pipe comes out. Usually you can if the if the water's up you can see it. It's, you can see where the stream goes right there, but it's a pipe that comes out right at the bottom of this hill here. Huh. Now, of course, you, I didn't know all that until I had the... Did you put that in, or was this here? It, it was one... The, the original pipe is down there, but what we did, we sealed that PVC into the original pipe because the original pipe gotcha. was yeah. leaking. Yeah. And I didn't even know it was there. They had capped it all. I guess I'm, I'm assuming Ronnie Pendleton was the one that capped it all. He's, <laughs> the hurricane came, the huh. water was so high, it was rushing over this. Wow. I, so I come down here to make sure the culvert, at the time, that's all that I had control of the level of the pond. Right here. So I come down here in the hurricane, water's just rushing across the dike here. Oh yeah. And, I hear, and the, the wind's blowing his ass off and I hear this cracking and stuff. I turn around and look. And here comes the stream right for me. That oh Lord. Right there. <laughs> I took off that way. The tree landed across here, just missed my ass. Oh. And it, then, you know, it's pouring down rain, the wind's blowing about 80 miles an hour. It, it took me about 20 minutes to get through the tree so I could get back to the house. <laughs> Ruck is taking a whiz. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're having a big day today. They'll be tired tonight. Okay, what are you smelling, bud? Checking the wind, huh? You checking that wind? <laughs> I think Ryan's ready to head to the house. <laughs> Y'all cold? See his, oh, can't see it. He lifted it up. Check out his left front foot, some his left front leg and the way his foot turns out. Poor fella. Yeah, I had to take a chainsaw down. It took me forever to find my no truss pass and found back there. I got lost two or three times and <laughs> cutting down. I ain't kidding you, man. It was, it was blown up so much back there that if you get don't keep your bearings. I could probably wander around back there for a couple of days. You'd be qualified for the forestry well, service. Well, I, I, I went and after I finally found it, it took me two weeks. Is that, how long did it take you to put that much wood up? 
What's that? Is that your wood right there? The barn? Yeah. Oh, I, I don't know. It's, I don't do anything real fast right now. That's the <laughs> pressure. What I was going to tell you, though, year before last, before I had any woodstock house, oh, snow was just damn deep on the ground out here. And I was going out and I was the, I cutting anything I could get to. And they had pushed up some big cedars. And I cut cedar and burned it for just about all year. Well, how long, how long, is, how long, yeah, how long do you season it for? I, I try to do it for uh, a, a year from, because it, this wood like this here, uh -huh. the, like I was showing you in the house, it, my stove really don't get enough air into it to really burn it real good unless you put uh, some other wood with it. But here's some, uh, I had to split these up and put them on the truck, but that's, that's some of the wood right there. All right. But it's, uh. I have to get up there and do a video of Dennis's place. We'll put you, put you guys up on YouTube. Oh God, don't do that. <laughs> oh, I need some federal aid, so we've been Just looking for him. <laughs> Make you famous or infamous, yeah. right? <laughs> Yeah, so you see how dense that is? Oops, hang on. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's solid. Heavy. That means it's good fuel, right? It's, it's, it's good. It burns a long time, but to keep a flame in it, you've got to oh, yeah. a lot of air coming into your stove or, right. or some other wood, some softer wood. <laughs> that wind is something else here today. Along with the chill in the air, it's pretty pretty brisk. Yeah, this is this y'all hadn't had anything this cold down there yet. People freak out down there in Florida if they get if it gets oh, this cold. My buddy. <laughs> <laughs> down there. He came up here and we put him in the bedroom upstairs. Where, oh, here he comes. Where's, where's Ryan? And I came down to go to work. Here you go. And Come he on, was baby. over there sitting beside that wood stove, just shivering. <laughs> I said, you're not going to be alive when I get off work. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, their blood gets thin down there, bud. I was going out in the woods and my boots were like right here and I was walking and as soon as I step in the snow it would come over the top of them. <laughs> and I'm going out in the woods to try to cut some wood for the stove, you know. What do you say, Ruckus? What do you say, Ruckus, buddy? Huh? What's up? 